Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I want to take a look at the trigger node. Uh, the trigger node is uh, part of the core nodes and you'll find it here in the menu just underneath the delay node and what it's used to do is to, uh, to actually trigger uh, an action so you sending it a, a signal in and after a predetermined time it sends a signal out and you, if you look at the help screen here it says it could be used for example to blink an LED attached to a Raspberry Pi so if we open up the the trigger node here you can see it's going to send a 1 and then it's going to wait for 250 milliseconds and then the send a 0 so basically we're going to ge generate a, a wave now that probably is the, the way most people use it, but it's a very versatile node and there's lots of other different ways of using it. So let me take you through some of the settings on this trigger node here. And the main one is wait for, which I just showed you here. Um, the other one is wait to reset and the other one is resend it every uh, so often, every uh, X milliseconds. That's basically similar to the inject node. So the one I want to show you is this one here, the wait to be reset. And so what happens here is you, you trigger it and it then sends out a one and then it won't do anything else it, until you reset it. Now the reset signal can be uh, message payload set to one or you can actually send a, a signal in on the dot message dot reset. Um, either one will work. And so in this mode it's basically acting like a gate so it will let the first signal go through but it won't let the second signal go through and we can do this for each topic so you can actually have one topic going through and the other topic not going through and I'm going to show you this with this example flow that I've got here so here's the example flow here and, and we've just got a debug node connected to it here and what we've got is a, a topic which is T1 and we've got another topic which is obviously T2 and we're just sending a timestamp through it and if I put the debug node up here and I click this one here you can see the message the payload went through click T2 and the payload went through now I click T2 again and it stopped I click T1 again and it stopped nothing is going through so nothing is going through until I reset it and I have to reset each one of these topics individually and I, let's have a quick look at that reset button here I'm resetting topic 2 I should have put let's just change it so if I reset topic 2 I have to just deploy that first so reset topic 2 then I send topic 2 again and you can see it goes through if I try and send it again it's stopped again. Now if I send a signal on T1 you can see it's ejected it but it doesn't go through it doesn't go through because I need to reset T1 so I need to reset these topics individually so if I reset T1 by clicking this one here and now send a signal on T1 you can see it comes through. So here we've got the trigger actually acting like a, like a gate. Now one of the main uses I make of this is uh, in connection, not just in connection with Modbus, but that's where I, I first use it with, with Modbus. And this Modbus node here, and what happens when you click on the inject node here, the Modbus node will go and read the Modbus registers and it will report the results back and sending out onto the on one of these nodes here and we can see it in the debug node. Now that all works very well but the problem is with this node and it's not the only node that does it is if it doesn't actually read anything for some reason it doesn't necessarily generate an error and what happens is nothing comes out so you inject and let me just clear that you inject and nothing's coming out of here so how do you know whether it's read it or not because you've got no indication that the read has actually failed. So what normally happens with this is you actually want it to reread. So if it does, the read doesn't work, or the write doesn't work, whatever it was, then you want it to do it again. And you want it to do it again after X number of seconds. Now, you can actually use the reset 
um, node to do this or the reset um, functionality to do this and I'm going to show you that in a second but before that I'll just fire up my Modbus simulator so you can actually see the Modbus node working. Okay the simulator is up and running so now this time when I click it I should get a result and I do here. Okay so this little flow here what happens when I trigger it here with the inject node here it triggers the trigger node and the trigger node will resend every five seconds you can see here resend every five seconds and it will resend until it's reset so it triggers the mode bus read the mode bus read actually sends an output if it works if it doesn't work sorry if it works if it works it also triggers the reset so the, this reset here goes through here we just change it the uh, message to message reset to the payload and then we reset this node here so it doesn't get triggered in five seconds time. Now if nothing comes out of here I don't get the reset so I actually do a read every five seconds. Okay let's just trigger it. Now I'm going to take away this one here so we don't see the the trigger uh, otherwise we'd see a one here so if I just trigger it here you see here I've got a read now five seconds later we just wait a little bit and nothing should happen I shouldn't do a reread okay so now what I'm gonna do is stop my simulator okay the simulator stopped now I'm going to enable the trigger node because I want to see the trigger going in there so now we start the read and you can see the trigger node so that, that's triggering off a read. Now I'm triggering another read. Now I'm triggering another read. So every five seconds, I'm going to you see the time on here. Every five seconds, I, could, I trigger another read. Now what's missing in this flow is really is a counter to say, OK, after X number of reads, we'll stop, we'll stop it completely. Uh, but I'll leave you to, to modify this if you want to, to, to do that. So that's it, uh, how to use uh, the trigger, no trigger node, uh, a very versatile node, and there's lots of other ways of using it that I haven't shown in this, but hopefully it will give you some ideas of, of using the trigger node. And so that's the end of the video. Um, if you've got any comments on the video, then please leave them below. If you like the video, then click on the like button below. And if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel, then you can always subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.